David the Caveman Rickles versus Michael Chandler, the rematch at 155 pounds. The last time Michael Chandler fought in St. Louis against Derek Campos, he looked better than he ever has at 155 pounds. Lightning strikes with his hands, great takedown, finishing instincts on the ground. He looked dynamic, he looked aggressive, he looked like the fighter we saw win the belt at 155. David Rickles, a giant at 155 pounds. This is a guy who comfortably made 170 and was never physically dominated in that weight class. He's huge at 155. The problem is, can he handle the speed of Michael Chandler? In their first fight, Michael Chandler showed hand speed, showed accuracy, showed power, took Rickles out early in the first round. That is it! A lightning strike! Can Dave Rickles fight a smart fight? Can he fight a controlled fight? What has he learned since the last time he fought Michael Chandler? Keys to victory for Michael Chandler. Hurt Dave Rickles early and often. Dave Rickles always comes forward when he's hurt. So hurt him early, shock him, get him moving forward and, and looking for that revenge punch where you can take him out. Work the takedown as well. He's at his best when he mixes it up, when he throws hands and then goes to the takedown and keeps his opponent guessing as to where the offense is coming from. Keys to victory for Dave Rickles, keep Michael Chandler at a distance. He's a taller fighter, he's the rangier fighter. Use the jab, use his lead tools to keep Michael Chandler at a distance. Number two, play the matador. Chandler's gonna come forward, Chandler's gonna be shorter, it's gonna be stockier, angle and punch and keep him guessing. Always move around the cage, use all of the real estate to keep Michael Chandler at a distance. That is key for Dave Rickles. Michael Chandler coming back home at 155 pounds against David the Caveman Rickles, a guy looking for redemption against Michael Chandler.